hello guys welcome back in this video i'll explain how to develop a school management system using python flask and mysql so before going to start with the coding we will discuss database and the project the demo of the project so first we will see the demo of the project so guys you can see here the demo of this project here our school management system here you can see the dashboard here this is the dashboard and the student section class section uh, sections teacher subject attendance attendance report. so these are the section that we will uh, implement in this system uh, the, the dashboard dashboard have all details like here you can see the details of student teachers classes subjects sections attendance and admin can manage the students classes sections teachers subjects so all these sections can be handled by the administrators so the system will be accessed by the administrator so guys you can see here we will log out from the system and the first page will be the login login page from which uh, administrator will enter their login details like here admin uh, we will enter the login details and access the system and then he will uh, manage all sections like students classes sections teachers subject attendance and attendance so it's a very initial level you can say initial level project and you can enhance this to make a complete system so uh, go, before going to start coding we will discuss the database database of the system so actually i have uh, tell you the, that we will uh, use the mysql database for the system so here we have created the python SQL sms database name mysql database and here we have a table the first table is sms user sms underscore user in which we have a details of user details of administrator that will uh, access the system and the structure of the table is like here you can see the id primary auto increment and all these will like first name last name email password so all details of the administrator uh, who will access the system the next table uh, is sms underscore teacher this is the uh, table teacher table that will hold the details of the teacher like teacher id primary auto increment teacher id and also the subject id here we are uh, relating with the subject id actually uh, for which subject teacher has specialization so here we will store the subject id then here we have a table sms underscore subject in which we will store the details of the subject here subject id primary auto increment subject type type of subject and code the next table is sms underscore students in which we will store the details of the student you can see here the student id is primary auto increment name gender date of birth photo all details of the student and the next is section and classes so first we will see that table of class so here sm underscore class in which we will store the details of the class like class name section and teacher id means uh, to which uh, to whom teacher the class is assigned also the section here in which the what the section like section a section B, C, what the section of that class, and the final is SMS underscore attendance, in which we will store the details of the student attendance, like here attendance ID, primary auto increment, student ID, class ID, section ID, at, in, attendance status, and date of the student, uh, student. So, attendance date. So, these are the details uh, we will store here in our MySQL database. So, this is the structure of uh, complete structure of our database uh, actually we will uh, give the complete data structure of this file uh, with the project file with downloads so you will get the complete source code of the project uh, with the database structure so now we'll move to the coding here so guys you have seen the system so now we will start from this case so here the first page uh, we will access of the system is login page so the first page is login so now we'll start here so actually uh, i have already created the project here python project uh, like a school management system python plus mysql so the first file is the uh, python file here we have created the app.py this is this is our 
main project file python file in which uh, we have imported the required modules actually we are developing this uh, project with flash so here uh, we have imported the flash framework and with it uh, with this module required modules of this uh, module and also here we are connecting to mysql database so here we are use, uh, importing the flask mysql db mysql db cursor and also using date time and uh, system OS. so all these uh, modules uh, needed so here we have imported all then we are creating the flask app here and then also con configuring the mysql database connection details here like passing the local host mysql host root password actually we, uh, we are not using a password on our local system so here we have uh, keep it blank and here also python sms our dvd so and i uh, passing this i have been mysql to create the object mysql so here we have create our uh, flash cap configure the mysql database details so now we will move with our project so, so the first page is you can see here the login page so here when the login root is called so here we are managing the root login here and method get post and we have created the method uh, function login here we are checking if request is post then we are handling login functionality otherwise we are loading the login dot html so here we will see the template file here this is the login dot html here we have a form login form so this one is loaded you can see here that there is no post request so the login dot php template file loaded with login form when the form is submitted like here here we have entered the id password and submit the login form login successfully to the system so here you can see here uh, here we are checking the checking the method post with email and password field then we are getting the requested form value like email password and then connecting to, to the mysql and then we have a query select asterisk from the sms user and extra active and here we are using the placeholder for email and password and passing the email and password if user exists then we store the logged in user detail to the session and displaying the message logged in successfully and then redirect to the dashboard so here you can see here we are redirecting to the dashboard so this is the login functionality we are handling here after login you can see we are log out here like suppose we click on the log out the system we are log out from the system so here we have implemented root log out and removing the values of session like uh, session dot pop function logged in user id email id and all these we are removing and then redirecting to the login here we are redirecting the login so if we will log in here again then we will move to the student section here so here you have seen uh, our dashboard so like you can see here the teacher section so here we have implemented the teacher section so this is our teacher section so here we again uh, handle the teacher route so you can see here the this is the teacher when teacher route is called here teacher details is loaded here so here you can see we are getting the teacher detail from the database and pass your teacher day. also we are passing the subject here uh, to the teacher.html so here we will see the teacher.html file in which you can see here uh, we are loading the teacher detail here this is the teacher detail. so here we are loading the teacher also uh, when we edit this like suppose if you we edit this so here we can you can see the teacher details also specialization we can select here so also we can add the teacher here like in teacher name and the specialization we can select here so this is the functionality of our teacher section so now uh, we will move to the next section here like this is the edit teacher functionality then we will and we handling the save teacher functionality here also delete teacher functionality handled here like you can uh, delete the user from here you can use teacher here and delete the teacher here 
and the next section is our subject you can we are managing the subject here like here this is the subject section here you can see the the list of subject here I can enter the new subject here and also can edit and delete the subject here so here we have a subject root we are here we are handling the subject functionality here we are saving the subject also handling the subject editing and deleting the subject here and uh, you can see the template file of subject here like this here we are listing the subject here also for adding new subject we are here model that we are using also we have we are handling the edit so you can see the edit the subject here in which we are handling the subject edit so this is the functionality for our subject so next section is our classes so here in classes you can see here we are listing the classes we can same again uh, we are we can add the new class here like say uh, like class and what the section and the teacher assigned class teacher so all these functionality you can also can edit here teacher uh, edit classes and also delete here so you can see the functionality here like here we are listing the classes getting the class details passing the class dot html edit here on edit route we are implementing the edit class function and getting the class class details and passing to the edit class to edit also here saving the class details and also deleting the class the next we are managing here section like you can see here the sections in which we are adding new sections here and editing section deleting section so all these functionality here we have handled the in section root you can see here we are getting the section details and passing the section dot html template here you can see the template file here here we are listing the template also here we are using the model to add new section and here we are also implementing the sections editing functionality with it is section dot html template also saving the uh, section detail for update and new sections and deleting the section the next part is the next section is students so you can see that this is the student section here in student section we are listing the student details so here you can see we are getting the student details also getting the class details section detail of passing to the student dot tpl so here student dot html this is a template file in which we are listing the student details same we have a model student model in which we are handling the new student details to add, add the new student details. here we are adding the new student details also we are editing the, the function uh, student details here and also deleting so all these uh, functionality i have implemented here you can see the uh, this is the listing of student here we are editing the student and we are saving the submission of form submission of the edit and new student details handle will be here to save or update the function uh, details student details also here we are handling the uh, student deletion then we are managing the attendance here actually this is the attendance section in which we are displaying the attendance like you can see here class uh, and you can see the here uh, get the details of attendance every attendance is already made uh, the details displayed as the already written attendance otherwise you can complete the attendance from here so here you can see uh, this, uh, here we are listing the attendance in attendance dot html template file so here you can see the attendance like here this is the attendance dot html file in which we are listing the attendance you can see here also we are handling this to save the uh, attendance so here we are getting the class attendance details you can see here and also we have a report like report section here to display the report of the so here we have a report dot so all these functionality here we have handled in this project but guys you can you can see here this is not a uh, complete project it's a very initial level project uh, with some basic functionalities you can 
check this you can try on this to make it complete system you can enhance this as more features more sections to the system but it's a very interesting project guys you can you have seen this it's a very interesting uh, project to kind of try it and so i hope guys you you like this project so don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe our channel thank you